So today I'm doing something a little bit different. We're having company coming this weekend and so I am making my famous crock pot shredded chicken. Everyone of my family and friends is always asking me for this recipe, especially when they have large family gatherings. You can use any kind of chicken that you'd like for this. I typically like to use a boneless, skinless uh, chicken thigh. Of course, you wanna make sure that you have washed all of your chicken. These have naturally been washed already. And we're just gonna fill up the crock pot with the chicken. This is so easy, you guys. And like I said, especially if you have a large group of people coming. So we're gonna use two cans of cream of mushroom soup. And you do not have to be fussy with this recipe, my friends. It is so simple. The other thing I love about making this shredded chicken, when you have company coming, especially if it's a large group of company, you can prepare this the night before and have it set in the fridge and just take it out the next morning and uh, turn the crock pot on and put it in the crock pot, start it up and let her rip. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add two packets of the Lipton Beefy Onion Soup. You can use any kind of soup mix you like. You don't have to use any. This is just what I do. Just lay it right on top. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of sea salt. And I'm going to add pepper, but not until this is almost finished cooking because pepper can have a tendency to make things taste a little bit sour if it is cooked in the dish. All you have to do now is uh, set the crock pot for about five to seven hours on low. I typically do at least six. All right, you guys, the chicken went in at 10 o'clock this morning, set it on low, and it is just going on 4.30. Chicken was looking done. It is extremely tender. As you can see, it's basically just falling apart. So we're just taking a couple of forks and shredding it up. This is extremely flavorful, you guys, and this will be a hit, and all of it will be eaten. For my vegan or vegetarian friends, this video is probably not going to be for you. <laughs> It is absolutely delicious, believe me. Your family will love it. You can use any style bun. I actually usually pick up a little bit of a different style bun, but uh, my husband went and got groceries this time and uh, these will do just fine. Thank you guys for joining me in the kitchen today. I always appreciate you carving a little time out of your busy day to spend some time with me. I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed to my channel. And if you would like to get notifications every time I upload a new video, please make sure you click on that bell as well. Thank you for watching. I love you so much. I will see you in the next one. Have a beautiful day. Bye.